Hey guys, it's Vikram Raya. Welcome back to the Limitless MD podcast. I'm excited to share with you guys today something really powerful. It's going to be called Actionable Steps to Building Seven Income Streams Like a Millionaire. What if you could reclaim hours of free time each week, create legacy building wealth, and devote more energy to your passion projects without giving up on your career as a life saving MD? My name is Vikram Raya, functional cardiologist, high performance coach, and real estate expert. And I'm here to give you the tools, strategies, and solutions you need to transform your life so you can unlock your limitless potential and achieve greatness all the while freeing up your precious time. Welcome to Limitless MD. Let's dive in. So really, it's how does the typical doctor, the typical professional entrepreneur, how do we build seven income streams and eventually become a multimillionaire, right? Right. Um, this is taken from uh, an article I read in the Medium, and it's a really interesting one. So I want to share with you this information. Um, and what they say is there isn't really a single event in their life that, then, boom, you do this and boom, you're a multimillionaire. It's really a steady slog. It's a campaign. It's daily grinding with the ultimate intention of abundance, of wealth, of freedom, of money, right? Right. And so they say it's a deliberate, hard, and silent work for up to 10 to 15 years. So if you want to be an overnight millionaire, this is probably not the podcast you want to listen to. That being said, it's instead of cursing your job, you know, congratulate your job, you know, value your job. Your job has multiple benefits. A W-2, a lot of people make fun of it, but here are the benefits. One, it helps you get loans, lines of credit. Number two, it provides a steady income flow and safety while you're coming up with your other income streams, right? So number one, don't quit your job early. Stay at it until you really have to leave as it will fund your other investments as well as increase your wealth. That's number one. Number two, invest in stocks long-term passively and consistently as it will generate your compound interest. Number three, start collecting rent today through subletting a room in your current property or buying a share of a rental property, depending on what you can afford. Once you have enough saved up, you can buy a small rental property with good rental potential and use the rent to generate savings for other properties you might buy in the future. Another thing is, you know, Airbnb, right? When the other time, like, let's say you go on vacation, you know, two months out of the year total, eight weeks. Those eight weeks can be uh, trans um, configured into uh, income because of short-term rentals. And I think there's... Um, there, there's a loophole in the IRS saying you can actually rent out your primary residence to your own company uh, for rent. So there's all these other uh, strategies. You want to talk to your um, CPA about that. Number three, I'm sorry, number four, create a digital product based on your area of expertise and sell it to collect royalties each month. You could start with something simple like, hey, here's a course to do, um, you know, here's a course to find a nanny that's foolproof, right? How many people out there would love to find a really good nanny and they've tried it. They failed. They had to go through several rounds of finding the right nanny to find the right one. So you could scour the, the internet, find books on finding nannies, finding good employees, uh, coming up with an interview process, coming up with a checklist, coming up with the best websites, put together maybe a three day course, five day course, sell it for, you know, $79, you know, there we go. Now you're starting to get, you know, income coming in. So again, figure out your expertise and create a digital product based on your area of experience and sell it to collect royalties each month. And then use your imagination. This can be anything as complex as sewing, cooking, business, or coding classes for kids, high schoolers or college students, um, you know, who, who teach a photography class, music. All right. But also if you're a doctor, there's so many skill sets, you know, as a physician that can be very helpful either to other physicians or to the general public. Next Again, this is sort of a step stepwise order. Start a business, grow it on the side of your main employment through scheduling time in, in the week to work on it. Amazon businesses, Craigslist businesses, eBay businesses, very easy. Etsy businesses, right? Um, you know, you can consult, you can you can speak uh, for a company, you can freelance, you can go on Upwork and become an Upwork freelancer. Um, there's a, a website called MD Flip, MD hyphen Flip, where you can lease out your medical expertise um, uh, for, for, for pay as a consultant. Consider two to three hours after work every, after every weekday or on the weekends and consistently grow to generate a consistent additional income. Save a set percentage from your income in a savings account and forget it exists. Now, I don't recommend that because inflation will kill it. 
So I say invest that money pretty wisely uh, and, and that will accelerate your growth. And then finally, sell appreciated assets as a result of research of highly in-demand niches, obtaining or creating products or services and supplying them at a greater cost than their book value. So um, this could happen with real estate. This could happen with, you know, potentially NFTs. Uh, maybe it's crypto. Maybe you really got good at it. Maybe it's, um, you know, you're, you're doing options and covered calls and you really figure out how to do that well. Maybe you write a book and, you know, it's a popular book and potentially that can really sell. So uh, figure out basically how to buy more assets. Now, some of these assets can cash flow. Some of these assets can just appreciate. Um, you know, Rolexes are now considered an asset. Porsches are considered an asset. Certain artwork is considered an asset. So if you have some passion in that and you're collecting it and it potentially can appreciate, then that, that's, that's a value. So guys, I hope this was helpful. Uh, again, um, it's, it's going to be a deliberate, hard, and silent work for about a decade. But you do that on the side of your the time is going to pass regardless. Might as well create multiple streams of income on, on, on the back of your W-2 job. And remember, the average millionaire has nine streams of income. How many do you have right now? Let's go. All right, guys. Be limitless. Be phenomenal. I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of Limitless MD. If you found value from this episode, I encourage you to share this episode with a friend and let me know by leaving a review. For more information, make sure you check out the links in the show notes below or simply visit VikramRaya.com. So until next time, my friends, be phenomenal.